Good morning. So today is lecture three for the topic arrays of our complete course series 2021 for ICSC class 10. Today we will be doing sorting techniques in arrays. In your syllabus you have sorting only for single dimensional array and the two sorting techniques which are there in your syllabus are selection sort technique and bubble sort technique. So we will be doing both the techniques today and the programs are there in the PDF for which the link is given in the description box. You can download that, check the program, practice that. Anywhere, any problem, please do comment so that I can solve your doubts. Don't keep any doubts with you. Any doubt, please do comment. And if you have not subscribed the channel, please do subscribe. So that you get the notification and no important topic is missed by you. So let's start. Now what is sorting? Sorting means to arrange the array elements in some particular order. If we take numbers then this sorting can be either in ascending or in descending order. Let's see the example of selection sorting. Selection means to select a particular item from the array list and then shift it according to the requirement. Now suppose I want to sort this array in ascending order. Ascending order means I want the smallest element at 0th index number and the largest element in the last in subscript value. Okay. Now what is the logic behind this? First I will explain you the logic and then we will do the programming portion. Okay. Now in the beginning we will assume that the minimum value is 43 and the subscript of 43 will store in one variable. Now after that we will be comparing the minimum value with the value stored in this subscript. So any time we get a smaller value will interchange. Okay. So is mein humko kya karna hai? Starting mein hum assume karenge ki first value jab tak humne baaki values nahi dekhi hai. First value sabse smallest value hai uska index number store kiya. Iske baad dekhte jayenge isko access karte jayenge jahan par bhi humko इस इंडेक्स नंबर की वैल्यू से छोटी वैल्यू मिलेगी तो वहां पर इस वेरिएबल की वैल्यू को हम चेंज करेंगे स्मॉल वैल्यू के इंडेक्स नंबर से 96 और 43 कोई चेंज नहीं होगा 96 इज बिगर 48 एंड 43 अगेन नो चेंज 55 43 नो चेंज 88 43 नो चेंज 26 यस 26 हैज the index number 5. So, fifth index number is storing the smaller value than this. So, now the minimum variable will have the value 5 which is the index number of this 26. Next we can come to 14. 14 is again small than the value of this index number. So, the minimum variable will have the index number of 14 then 76 is bigger no change now after this what we will do will interchange these values 0th position this value will come and 6th subscript 43 will go so it will be 14 and 6th will be 43 rest there is no change so after this what is there? Iske baad humne dekha ki sabse first subscript par kya aagya? Sabse smaller value. Ab humko yahi process repeat karte jana hai. First ko chhodenge, ab second ko. First ko hum consider nahi karenge. Kyo? Kyoki first pe smallest value aa chuki hai. Kyo aur humko ascending order mein sort karna hai. इसके बाद हम मिनिमम की वैल्यू ले लेंगे 1 अब कंपैरिजन स्टार्ट करेंगे 
यहाँ पर कंपेयर किया 48 इज स्मॉलर देन दिस सो मिनिमम की वैल्यू हो गई 2 55 में कोई चेंज नहीं 88 में कोई चेंज नहीं 26 में चेंज होगा मिनिमम की वैल्यू क्या हो जाएगी 5 43 में कोई चेंज नहीं 76 में कोई चेंज नहीं नाउ अब आपकी स्वैपिंग किस में होगी इन दो में 14 26 48 55 88 96 43 and 76 right now we got the smallest and the next number in 0 and 1 subscript अब इसी process को हम repeat करते जाएंगे minimum की value अब assume करेंगे 2 और first और second को as it is लिखेंगे 48 और 55 कोई change नहीं 48 88 कोई change नहीं 48 96 no change 48 43 yes अब मिनिमम की वैल्यू हो गई 6 अब हम 2 और 6 की वैल्यू को इंटरचेंज करेंगे सो हियर इट विल बी 43 हियर इट विल बी 48 रेस्ट वैल्यूज विल रिमेन सेम 88 96 76 नाउ मिनिमम की वैल्यू क्या लेंगे मिनिमम वेरिएबल की 3 यस नाउ हियर 56 88 स्टार्टिंग की वैल्यूज वैसे ही लिखोगे 56, 88 कोई चेंज नहीं, कोई चेंज नहीं, कोई चेंज नहीं। यहाँ पर अब मिन वेरिएबल की वैल्यू क्या हो जाएगी? 6. So these two values will be interchange. It will be 48. It will be 56, 88, 96, 76. Then minimum will take 4 and then will compare. 88, 96 कोई चेंज नहीं, 56 यहाँ पर इन दो में चेंज आएगा। अब 56, 96, 88, 76 like this it will be done. Now we'll take these, this, 5, 14, 26, 43, 48, 56, 96 no change, 76 will be here then 88 and 96 again no change so this is the final result if you see the array elements are stored in ascending order now 14 26 43 48 56 76 88 and 96 so selection sorting may kya hoga first element ka index number store karoge remaining may minimum अगर ascending order में कर रहे हैं minimum को select करोगे उसको compare करोगे and then you will do the swapping right now let's see the programming statements for selection sorting now let's see the program to sort 10 integers in ascending order using selection sort technique I have already written the program I hope the logic which I explained you just now is clear and I will be explaining it more so I have written already the program on the board 10 elements we want to sort in ascending order using selection sort technique so I am using scanner object so I have given the statement import java.util you have created scanner object declare the array of size 10 input 10 numbers in the array the first subscript of the array is 0. The last subscript is size minus 1. Size is 10. So the loop will go from 0 to 9. To see more about entering declaration of the arrays, you can refer to previous videos of this topic. Then ai equals to sc.nextint. This is the entry part. Now this is the logic how you sort the array elements in ascending order. The outer loop, in this the nested looping will be used. You can refer to nested loop video of this channel. i equals to 0. I told you just now in the logic that first we will take the starting index number, store it in a variable and then the comparison is done from next element till last element. So, in the beginning, if we assume min equals to i, it is 0. The value of this variable is 0. And when we will do the comparison 
from i plus 1. i is 0 for the first time. i plus 1 will start from 1 till 9. That means from the next element till last subscript of this array. And every time you are comparing it, if aj, that means the number which you are checking is smaller, is smaller because we want in ascending order. Same thing if you want in descending order, you can check if it is greater than, okay? So if this element is smaller than the element stored at this subscript, the subscript which is stored in min, if the next element is smaller than this, then you change the value of this variable to the smaller element subscript. Okay? So, if the next element is smaller, then the subscript ki value will subscript ki value se smaller number ki subscript value. Se replace kar denge. And we will continue this pure last tak compare, compare karenge. After completion of this loop, entire loop, what you will get? The subscript value of the smallest number in min variable. Okay? Now, we will get the list of the smaller element in the list. We will replace the value. For swapping the values, for replacing the values, we always use a temporary variable. Temporary variable. Use karenge for the time being will keep one value in that temporary variable or this value ko first variable mein rakhna hai usko dalenge and temporary variable ki value ko change karenge. I can just show you how you can do the swapping. Agar A ke value 2 hai, B ke value 3 hai, humko change karna hai. To agar hum A equals to B kar denge, to A ke value kya ho jayegi 3 aur b ki value bhi 3 ho jayegi we don't want like this so what we have to do we will take one temporary variable ek for the time being keval humne ek variable liya jisme a ki value store ki aur ab a ki value mein b ki value store ki ab a ki value already hamare paas t mein stored hai wo humne isme kar diya right so ab iske baad अगर आप वैल्यू चेक करोगे t की वैल्यू है हो गई यहां पर 2 a की वैल्यू हो गई b की वैल्यू दैट इज 3 एंड b की वैल्यू हो गई t सो so, a equals to 3 एंड b equals to 2 वी आर यूजिंग अ टेंपरेरी वेरिएबल फॉर डूइंग द स्वैपिंग द सेम थिंग वी आर यूजिंग हियर टेंपरेरी वेरिएबल में ai रखा ai की वैल्यू फर्स्ट टाइम a0 की वैल्यू और अब a0 की वैल्यू ऑलरेडी स्टोर हो गई है तो a0 में हमने a of min, min में क्या था, smallest element था, उसकी value को a0 में रखा, और फिर a of min में ये temporary value को रख दिया, इसको आप exam में तीन का order याद करने के लिए क्या use कर सकते हो, ये, ये, दोनों सेम रहेंगे, t equals to ai, जो जिससे आपने end किया, next statement उससे start होगा, ai equals to a min, और a min equals to t, so this like this it will work after this the next one first wala aa gaya fir one pe chalenge fir two pe chalenge i hope the logic is clear still any doubt please go through the video again and again again any problem please do comment i'll explain it to you again okay after this you will display the sorted array again for sorting nothing is there only you take the loop from zero subscript till last subscript and print the array elements using the array variable. Ek cheej aur, yaha pe aap dekhe, maine loop liya hai, less than 9. Less than 9 ka matlab ye kaha tak jayega? 8 tak. Aur ye hai less than 10. Less than 10 ka matlab 9 tak. So last comparison humara kis mein hooga? 8 or 9 mein. That is why we have taken the, this loop, outer loop till 8 and the inner loop till 9 because 9 is the last subscript uske baad agar hum isko 9 lenge to ye 10 tak to start hi nahi hoga invalid ho jayega so last comparison humko karna hai second last or last subscript ke beech mein isi liye humne isko lenge less than size minus 1 and this is less than size i hope it is clear okay now let's see the next technique of the sorting that is bubble sort technique. 
again first i'll explain you the logic and then we'll see the programming statements suppose i have taken eight elements in array here 8 5 23 2 10 44 1 15 like this okay now in this technique adjacent two elements are compared and if you are sorting in ascending order in that case the smaller value will be swapped that time only it is not like sequential sorting that you uh, select a specific item from the entire list and then the swapping is done. In this continuous swapping takes place. Anytime you get the condition true, the next element is smaller, then you do the swapping. So first here, 8 and 5. If I am sorting it in ascending order, 8 and 5, 5 is small. So that time only swapping will be done. 5, 8 remaining items will remain same. Then after this, these two, no change will be there. It will remain same. 23, 2, 44, 1, 15. After that, these two, yes, 2 is small. So here, it will be replaced. That time only swapping is done. Now after this, yes, again. 10 will come here, 23 will go here, now 23, 44, no change, now 44 and 1, again change will be there, 1 will come here and 44 will go there and then 44 and 15, 15 will come here and 44 will go here. Now this is after one complete iteration. What we are getting? The biggest element in the last subscript of the array. Now after this what we will do from next iteration? We will leave the last subscript and will repeat the process for remaining. So every time after one complete iteration we are getting the biggest element towards the end and this is when we are doing it ascending order. Okay. So this is the logic for bubble sorting. The checking is done like this. Next next element are checked and that time only swapping takes place. In selection sorting, the entire elements are checked for the specific item and then the swapping takes place. And here the swapping takes place, that time only whenever you are getting the smaller number, you swap the numbers. Next smaller number, you swap the number. Okay, now we will see the programming statements for bubble sorting. Now we have to sort 10 numbers in ascending order using bubble sort technique. The input part remains same. Import util package, declare the array, input the array elements. For entering the array elements, you can go to first video of this topic and check. Now for logic of the sorting. I have already written the program. I hope the logic is clear. Now see how we can write that in programming statement. For i equals to 0, i less than 9. From the first subscript till second last subscript. Because always the comparison, the last comparison will be between second last and last subscripts. So here in Selection sort also, bubble sort also, the outer loop will go from 0 to less than size minus 1. In both, I am telling you the comparison so that when in exams the question comes, you can compare, uh, you remember, you can recall what is the difference between both the techniques because most of the time if bubble sorting is asked, children write selection sorting program. So please do care for all these things. In both the selection sorting also bubble sorting the outer loop remains same. It starts from 0 
till less than size minus 1 that is second last subscript and here it will again loop will start inner loop from 0 every time in bubble sorting the inner loop starts from 0 because we are doing the comparison for 0 1 1 2 2 3 like this we are doing the comparison and in ascending order for the first time the elements we have seen the largest element is shifted towards the uh, last subscript so here the last value of this condition will be 9 minus i so first time less than 9 minus 0 so it will be continued between 8 and 9 because we are taking j and j plus for comparison when i is 0 j will start from 0 and comparison is done between j and j plus 1 so a0 and a1 when you are comparing and a0 is bigger than a1 what we have to do yes swapping that time only we interchange for swapping just now i told you we will be using a temporary variable temporary variable may rakha j ki value or aj equals to aj plus 1 aj plus 1 equals to 2 again in this also use the same thing just remember this how you do isko dhyan rakhega jisse aap end kar rahe ho swapping ke case mein usko aap next line mein beginning mein likhoge t equals to aj aj equals to aj plus 1 isko end kiya aj plus 1 se to aj plus 1 equals to 2 selection sorting mein i aur j mein swapping hogi yahan par j aur j plus 1 mein swapping hogi so like this you will be continuing and in this bubble sorting the swapping is done inside inner loop selection sorting mein inner loop ke bahar hoti hai swapping okay so this is how we are doing j or j plus 1 first time when the value of i is 0 j will start from 0 0 1 then 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 5 like this the comparison will be done after completion of the entire loop once you will get the highest element in case of ascending order in the last subscript then when i is 1 j will again start from 0 for 0 1 1 2 1 2 3 3 4 like this the comparison will take place like this the entire comparison will be done and will get the sorted array so after this you will print the sorted array using the for loop 0 2 less than size and print the array elements using array variable is it clear so i hope both the sorting techniques are clear to you in case of any doubt please do comment next video i will be taking for previous year questions and your doubt